This video is designed to talk you through the process of cliff formation at the coastline. We're going to come down and have a look at this simple diagram. We have the sea out here, we have the land here, and the brown line represents a cliff. The green line represents some vegetation growing on the top of the cliff. First of all, the sea will attack the cliff between the high water mark and the low water mark. Okay. The sea must be in contact with the cliff for erosion to take place. Anywhere in this section here, there will be no erosion because that is above the high water mark. The first thing that will happen is small lines of weakness will start to develop in the cliff. These lines of weakness will grow and develop into what we call a wave cut notch. So you can imagine that there's a notch cut out of the cliff. The red line or the red area represents unsupported or eroded area between the high and low water marks. That means that all of the material above the wave cut notch in the sort of stripy red area is unsupported. So over time that will slip down into the sea and get transported off. That causes the cliff to retreat inland. We have cut notch, a section of a cliff between the high and low tide marks which has been removed by erosion. This is our we have cut notch. If we come across, this is the next stage of the process. Again, we have the high water mark in the same position and the low water mark is down here. The red dashed line represents the original position of the cliff face. So obviously cliff retreat has occurred in this scenario. The same process will be repeated. We will have a wave cut notch forming here. The cliff above the wave cut notch is unsupported. It will eventually slip into the sea and get transported away. At low water mark, sorry, at the high water mark, which is here, we cannot see this platform which is left behind uh, due to cliff retreat. If the sea level drops to the low water mark, say down here, and you were standing on top of the cliff here, you would be able to see this section exposed. It looked like a stage or a platform. This is referred to as the wave cut platform. Wave cut platform, a platform produced by cliff retreat normally only visible at low tide. If the tide comes back in again, i.e. the water level rises back up to this level, the wave cut, wave cut platform will be hidden by the higher water level. The process gets repeated and you can see in this final diagram that a cliff retreat has occurred even further inland uh, as we move back. This picture shows clearly uh, this happening in the real life scenario. This section here, this red line, marks the original front of the cliff face. It would have extended upwards and back like so. So the wave cut notch has occurred here. This area of the cliff has fallen into the sea and been transported off to another part of the coastline. And you can see clearly that um, the red box represents the wave cut platform. The cliff is now back here and the movement or the direction of cliff retreat is that way.